Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and if you're looking in the background, that is my Tinkercad spaceship. I've got something fun we're going to do with it, so my friends, let's get cracking. All right, so friends, many of you took these projects to crazy cool levels. So the first thing I want to show you is that for the part we're doing right now, you may want to hide pieces. You don't need it all on the screen at the same time to make the things work the way they're supposed to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our objects and we're gonna place them up in the sky. So the only thing on the background is the white area. And then we're gonna cut them out and we're gonna use them in another program. So watch how easy this is to do. I hid my first spaceship, I'm grabbing the whole thing. I'm using the handle, I'm dragging it up a little bit, but then I'm gonna click the box and type 200. All right, so to see our shape, we're gonna hit fit view and then right click, drag or use the cube to get the exact angle that you'd like your spaceship to be in a virtual sky. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this object in another picture. So I'm gonna choose that angle right there. Maybe I'm gonna rotate it just a little bit so they're shooting across the sky. And then once again, we're gonna use send to and we're just gonna grab a picture. I'm gonna choose the downloads folder for where I put mine. I'm gonna call it spaceship one. The fun thing about this is we can repose and have as many pictures as we want in our future project. I'm gonna close this window and I'm gonna leave Tinkercad for a minute. And we're gonna visit Pixlr X. You can type pixlr.com slash x or you can use the link that i'll have in the description of the video we're going to make a full hd picture we're going to call it ss and put our initials after it because it's about spaceships you can put something different if you wish and when you hit create we've got a blank space to play with the first part of this blank space we're going to fill with some stock footage instead of garden or whatever they give you type something about space when you press enter it'll search and show you them I think this is a pretty cool picture you can pick any of the pictures you want when you click it it brings it in and you get to choose add current after a moment you'll have your sweet backdrop for the project we're making you'll notice there's an extra layer here we can delete this layer that we don't need by clicking the three dots and hitting the trash can we're gonna go back to that ad but this time we're gonna browse and once again, we're gonna to go to the downloads and we're gonna find our spaceship. We're gonna add it to the current and notice it puts it above it. And then it's got all this white area that we don't want. We are gonna get rid of that with the amazing cutout tool. When you click cut out, we are going to remove and we wanna remove this white on the outside. We're gonna use this sweet magic cutout button you can leave your tolerance at 32. Sometimes you play with it to adjust depending on your shape. And when you click, bam, just like that, your spaceship is now floating in space like it was actually really there. I'm gonna switch to the move tool and I'm gonna nudge it to another area. So I'm gonna put it over this way. And then let's quickly go back to Tinkercad and get our other ship. So I'm gonna grab the entire project. So I've selected all of it and I'll zoom out so you can see this happen. When I hit the letter D, it drops it back to the ground because I had it all grabbed. It stayed together. If you mess something up, just do undo and do it again. When we hit show all, now we can see our other ship. I'm gonna select it, repeat the process, lift it a little bit, type 200. Remember to hit that cool fit view find the angle that you think is gonna be awesome. I want this one, I want this one to be at that angle. Making sure that this blue and stuff is kinda of not in my way. Once you get it up in the sky, make sure you click somewhere else so you don't have those handles. You wouldn't wanna record those in your screenshot. Then hit send to and once again, we are gonna download it. This time it'll be called Spaceship 2 or whatever item you could export other items that you created as well. Now back in Pixlr quick, let's hit that add image. Once again, we're gonna browse. This time we're gonna grab Spaceship 2 and we're gonna add it to the current project. All right, friends, now that we've got the ship in, we can go back to that awesome cutout tool. We're still gonna use the magic cutout. We're gonna remove the white and when you click the button, boom, we have now got two spaceships flying together. If you click the move tool, you can drag it to that different spot. You can stretch it to a different size. Even though you can't have flames in space because there's no oxygen, I'm gonna put some flames behind this. Same trick, I'm gonna go to stock 
Only this time I'm going to type fire. When the fire comes in, I'm going to pick the one I want to use. I think I'm going to try this one right here. Add current. When it comes in, I'm going to click on that layer, and I need to shrink it. Which is kind of funny because you got to zoom way out to see just how large it really was. Now we're going to use our same trick to remove the black. Cut out. Remove magic. And boom, now we've just got the flame coming off it. If I go back to my move tool, I can scale it down really small, turn it a little bit. I want the flames to be below the rocket, so I'm going to click on this layer, and I'm going to use the down arrow at the bottom so the flames are below. Let's zoom in by rolling our scroll wheel. I think I want a second flame, so watch this. We're going to hit duplicate layer. All right, so the spaceship's in my way for a moment because it's hard to grab what's under it. So I'm going to just hide that spaceship for a second by checking the box. And now I can take my two flames and spread them out. And then when I hit the checkbox, my spaceship returns. Alrighty, friends, let's add the next piece to this really quick. Let's go to the text tool. And when you click add new text, they give you some fun words. I'm going to change it instead to incoming because I'm going to make this look like a battle. You can make yours look however you want. Once you type your words, you can pick awesome fonts. I'm going to use this one called Running. Uh, it looks kind of cool. Uh, I made it larger by using the size. So you can get it so it fits exactly where you want. I'm going to pick a different color. I'm going to go in the reds. I've decided I don't really like that font, so I'm going to change to one close to it. Let's try this one. That's a little bit more what I want. And I can go down and change that size that I showed you. I could add a background. Instead, I'm going to add an outline. I want my outline to be white. And then I also want it to be thinner. I'm going to go all the way down to size one. I like that. And then I want to add a shadow. When you add the shadow, you can pick the color of the shadow. I'm going to hit the button and go into the grays. And then you get to pick how opaque it is. See how it shows up more? And you can change the position. You can nudge it anywhere you want so that you get the exact effect that you want. Now, since I said incoming, that means there's probably a missile or a shot. I'm going to do a laser beam. And to do the laser beam, I'm going to go back to the bottom layer. You can only paint on actual images. And like I said, we're going to paint. When you hit the paint brush, you can pick your tools. I'm going to just use the, I'm going to use the brush tool. I'm going to use a small brush. It's got softness, and I'm going to pick what I think is going to be my laser beam color. I want something in the greens, and then watch this. Boom. I've got laser beams being fired out of my blue spaceship. So friends, that's how easy it is to take your Tinkercad objects and bring them into a photorealistic background and make something totally awesome. When you're done, you can hit save. I'm going to call this V1. And I'm going to make a PNG because I prefer those. And I'm going to just download it. And I'm going to put it in my downloads folder. It keeps that name V1. When you're done with this, you can simply hit close. Of course, friends, if you make an epic scene, it would be super cool if you shared it with me at Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. I am HL Mod Tech on all of those. You can also just send them in a Gmail. I am HL Mod Tech on Gmail as well. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.